make me all kinds of happy. I want to make something with this really cool um, detail B die cut set from Sizzix. You get two of the larger bees and two smaller bees. So I'm going to cut some vellum, gold with glitter paper, and black cardstock. I cut each of these two three inches wide, and the platform is six inches wide, so I'm going to be able to cut both the cardstock and the vellum at the same time. I'm cutting the detailed butterflies out of black and the um, bold or basic shaped bees out of the vellum. And I'm going to put my cutting pad on here. This is my Sizzix Big Shot die cut machine, and then I'm going to crank it through. Um, I am using a precision cutting mat underneath. That's the black. There you see. Okay. And then I'm just going to use um, a pick and pop out the detail cuts out of the detail cardstock. This bee cut, this is my very first time cutting this die cut, and it cut beautifully. Perfect die cut. I didn't have any issues at all. And it was um, cut just as beautifully, too, on the gold and the vellum. Having a pick of some kind is always helpful. And then I'm popping out the the gold. Look at that, how shiny, so pretty. And eventually I will be layering all of these together. So there's the gold and uh, here's the black detail and here is the vellum. So I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna cut the vellum down to so it's just the wings. And I'm gonna cut like the legs and the wings off of the gold so that it'll shine through like on the body. So then I just need a pair of detail scissors and some kind of glue. I ended up using, because glitter is hard to stick to, um, I ended up choosing to use um, a matte medium, which is a liquid glue that, and that dries matte, that dries matte instead of glossy. Um, it worked really well. It was, I mean, you have to be careful with your application. I did end up kind of just squirting some of it onto my glass mat and then picking up with my finger and rubbing it on. Um, so then I glue the vellum wings in place and then the gold glitter. It's just gold glitter paper is hard to stick to, so you have to experiment with your glue a little bit. But I'm happy to report that the matte medium worked really, really well and it's still stuck tight. So then I'm just assembling now the smaller bee in the same way. And then I'll set those two aside and get started on getting making the card base. I just love seeing the die cuts come together. I just um, with the different layers of color, it really just brings so much dimension and texture to a cut. And these more detailed cuts are just so fun. So then I'm going to use um, some Distress Oxide ink in amber, in fossilized amber, and a Tim Holtz stencil. This is the honeycomb stencil, and I really love these little foam pods from We Are Memory Keepers. They you have plenty of. Um, pods for all of your different colors. So I'm just gonna apply that through the stencil and I end up going and putting a little bit darker in, in one area and just letting it kind of fade away in the other areas. But really I'm just coloring this. This, um, this really is a card front. I'm probably not going to use it as a card front but I want to see if what it looks like and before I decide for sure. So I do like that. I'm going to put a B on it and see. Because I think this would be great for a simple card just like that. Add that and maybe a, a sentiment. But I think I'm going to do a little something more. Um, I'm just extra like that. <laughs> so now I'm going to take some Pink Fresh um, frame uh, die cuts and I'm going to cut out the part of the paper there that I just did the stenciling on. And this is a cool frame because it actually ends up making several frames. And um, then I think I'm going to go ahead and also die cut um, this little sort of frame lab fancy cut, label cut as well. Also from the honeycomb. I don't, I'm not sure if I even make cards without die cutting them anymore. 
I just love being able to die cut all the different layers and make all these different shapes. And this die set right here from Pink Fresh is so versatile. You can, I mean, you can make all different kinds. Look at all these little frames I got out of just those those dies. And then I'm gonna go back one more time on a fresh card, and this time I'm gonna cut a window out in that same shape. So I'm kind of playing with it to see how I'm gonna eventually make it look. But I want to make a window out of the same shape. So I'm gonna go back to the die cuts, die cut machine, and um, carefully center the smallest frame on the front, what will be the front of my um, card, for my card base. So I wanna have that be a complete window. Eventually I end up making this window um, with vellum. Um, so this is the card and I do eat the card base and then I'm going to put vellum underneath of it. And then finally I have these really cool um, um, sentiment stamps that actually do have a coordinating stamp set but I love these from Photoplay because you can use a stamp set and a die set independently of each other. You do not have to use them together and I just totally love that. Um, so the other thing that I really like about them is that they have a um, the details cut and then they have a shadow cut. So it really just gives that extra layer and you can choose to use it or not. So I'm cutting the detail out of black. That'll be my very, very fine. Look at how, look at this delicate little cut. It's so cool. Um, I'm going to get that out of car sock. Again, this is my first time using this particular die. Um, I've used their other ones, so I already knew it would be good stuff, but um, I love how cleanly it cut. Just perfect. And then I'm going to take my leftover gold from cutting the bees, and I'm going to cut the um, shadow version of that happy die cut. And um, this also cut, even though it's a thicker paper, um, this also cut very, very well. Okay, and now it's time to assemble. So I have my plain card and I'm just measuring where the die cut honeycomb label layer is going to, needs to go. I marked it with pencil and then I'm gonna glue that in place on the inside of the card. So that is now the inside of the card. And um, I'm gonna sort of a peek, peek through on um, the other. And then I'm going to go back to that same dauber and same ink and some of my frames I'm going to intensify the color. So I'm just daubing and or rubbing the oxide ink over the top of a couple of the frames. These little daubers are so handy, especially for delicate work like this. And of course I'm doing it on my glass mat, which will be very easy to clean up with a little water and a paper towel. I love that case too because you can close it and it just you don't have a it's just so handy and tidy. So now I'm taking um, one of the frames that I colored and some of the ones that I didn't, kind of figuring out what my layout's going to be. And then I decided I want to go ahead and color this bigger, the biggest frame as well. So I use the only oxide color I use for this whole thing is the fossilized amber. Then I'm going to just use the stencil and get some of the honeycomb look on this frame. That's fun. So now I have the different textures and look. Clean up again with water and a paper towel. And now I'm adding vellum to the inside of the open card over top of the cut uh, cut out window. And I'm just going to secure this with a little bit of score tape. Um, yes, you can see it, but I'm going to cover that up with one of the frames, see? So I'll cover that up, and um, because otherwise you would see the adhesive. And also I wanted more finished polished look on the inside too. Okay, and now on the front side of the card, I just have the card open flat, but now you can see that the window is vellum. And then I'm going to take this skinny little die cut that pops out when you cut out the 
label frame. It's like this book. There's, this is the frame, the die cut frame set that never keeps giving. It's just, it's, it's awesome. And um, you just get so much out of each little cut. Um, then I'm going to add the honeycomb stenciled frame and then the solid frame that's the largest. And that really added a lot of cool texture. And then I, when I cut out the window, I also got a skinny little um, frame that I left white. And I'm going to put that on the inside to make that look more finished. And I'll just glue on the words or the bees and stamp the words. This is what the inside looks like. This was a fun project. I love honeybees and this was a really, really fun card to make. Thank you. 